This is Twit. I'm a tech fanatic and I'm also a parent. So one question for modern parents often centers around when it's a good time to introduce their children to the complex world of technology and how to provide a safe environment for their explorations. Google released Family Link recently to help parents introduce their children to a relatively controlled Google environment. I've been using it for close to a month now. Here are my thoughts. First, by setting up an account through Family Link, you're creating a new Google account for your children that operates on your terms. Setting up a kid's device with Family Link requires that I first create a Google account within the app, then factory reset the device, and finally log into that device with the newly created account. And from there, I have all sorts of controls within the Family Link app on my phone. Location tracking, for example, allows me to keep tabs on where that device is and consequently where my kid is, if they have it. I'm shown recent activity on the device as well as its current state. I can also modify bedtime rules so it won't work between certain hours of the night, as well as setting daily hour limits for the use. As for app control, I'm shown what apps have been installed on the device recently, which reminds me, if my kid tries to install a new app, they will be required to get my permission before install is complete. I'll actually be shown a notification on my device asking if I'm okay with that install. And if I say yes, that app will immediately be installed on their device. I can reject it too. I can set content restrictions for everything that play touches. So for example, only show my kids movies that are G rated and PG rated or restrict explicit content in play music. I've also tied my credit card to the account. So anything that costs money can be purchased by the child, but only with my explicit permission. Oh, and because of the family library function, everyone in my family now has access to my own library of movies, music, and apps. It's all shared across. One thing I really like about Family Link is that Google allows me to keep YouTube and Chrome off of the device entirely if I choose, something you can't do easily with a normal installation of Android. That lets me keep my kids in the YouTube Kids app, and links out to websites won't actually work until I'm totally comfortable opening up that restriction for them. I've used other apps that control access for parents, like Dinner Time, in the past, and I'm perfectly satisfied switching to Family Link as it's so tightly integrated into the OS and the kid's device. And coupled with a family plan and play music, which includes YouTube Red for ad-free YouTube, I feel like I can relax a little bit and let my kids be kids while they use their devices safely. Family Link is free in the Play Store. I'm Jason Howell. You can find me chatting with Megan Maroney about the day's biggest tech news stories every day on Tech News Today, along with Android News on All About Android every Tuesday.